approximately 4.6 billion years ago, the solar system was a cloud of dust and gas. Gravity collapsed the material in onto itself as it began to spin, forming the sun in the center. With the rise of the sun, the remaining materials began to clump up. Smaller particles were drawn together and bound by the force of gravity into larger particles. The solar wind swept away lighter elements such as hydrogen and helium from the closer regions, leaving only heavy rocky materials to create smaller terrestrial worlds like Earth. But farther away, the solar winds had less impact on the lighter elements, allowing them to combine into gas giants. The Earth's rocky core formed first, with heavy elements colliding and binding together. Dense materials sank to the center, while the lighter materials created the crust. The planet's magnetic field probably formed around this time. Gravity captured some of the gases that made up the planet's early atmosphere. In our atmosphere, there are a number of gases, mainly nitrogen which constitutes 78%, oxygen which forms 21%, and smaller amounts of carbon dioxide. The atmosphere is incredibly important to all weather cycles and life on the planet. The weather in Sydney is different from that in New York. But why? Seasons happen because the Earth is tilted. When it revolves around the sun, first one part of the planet is tilted towards the sun and then the other. It is summer in the southern hemisphere when the south pole leans towards the sun and at the same time, it's winter in the northern hemisphere as it is away from the sun. Six months later, reverse happens and this pattern keeps repeating year on year. But some changes which take place on the planet are irreversible and sometimes it causes millions of people to lose their lives. Like an earthquake. An earthquake happens when the rocks beneath the surface suddenly move. When the pressure builds up under the ground, the release of pressure shifts the rocks causing the ground to shake. But it doesn't just shake the ground. On December 26, 2004, a massive earthquake under the sea, equivalent to the power of 23,000 atomic bombs, occurred off the coast of Indonesia. It triggered a series of devastating tsunamis along the coast of most land masses bordering the Indian Ocean, killing 230,000 to 280,000 people across 14 countries. All we can say is, Dear Ocean, thanks for making us feel tiny, humble, inspired, and salty all at once.